Hello, I am Peter from Stage Tracks and welcome back to the next tutorial video, this time about the brand new feature in version 3.6, which is audio regions. So, what are audio regions? Audio regions allow you to divide your songs into certain parts. Um, so you can uh, define, for example, a verse, a chorus, an intro, a break, and so on. You can name these parts. You can assign colors to them and they will be displayed in the waveform uh, in the player. And then you can jump between parts, you can uh, loop these and uh, you can uh, have a great overview where you are in the song. So first we need to, if we want to work with this feature, we need to define regions. To do that, you open song details and then first thing I would recommend is to make sure that this song has the correct tempo defined because setting the correct song tempo will make things very easy during editing, uh, especially if you want to have seamless loops. So uh, this song has the tempo 116 BPM and now I can go to audio regions, edit audio regions and I will see a waveform of the song. Um, basically, I can navigate in the waveform here on the uh, time ruler, on the timeline. This will, uh, tapping anywhere on the timeline, will place the red position um, handle or playhead at the position I am in. Um, and then uh, I can uh, start playback. And whenever I want to create an audio region, I tap plus. So now that I have tapped plus, a new region is created and um, double click will zoom in on that region. I can scroll here and uh, you see these blue marks. This is, this is why it's important to set the tempo. This is the beat grid. I can turn the beat grid off and on and it really helps in setting up loops um, or... Uh, parts in basic. So I, I just move the region start to a beat and um, as you can see the beats line up wonderful with the beat grid and now I just to make sure um, I end in the correct place and then I can uh, create a seamless loop. Here is the next one. So um, I can preview it. Oh, it's too long. Um, this is the one, I guess. Okay. Oh, one beat is missing. Here it is. Okay, perfect loop. Let's name this um, verse. Oh, no, it's, it's the intro intro. Give it a color and um, we are good to go. Next one I want to define is something in the middle in the breakdown part. So let's start playback a little bit before that. Zoom, zoom in so, so that we can see what's going on. Okay, let's see. Does it work? Zoom in a little bit. Check for the loop. Yeah, works quite well. Um, this is because we have defined the correct tempo. Um, the default loop length um, that the app creates, uh, or the, the default audio region length that the app creates is um, uh, four bars. And um, so if you set up the correct tempo, you, you can be sure that uh, it will be a four bar loop that should fit quite well. If you, um, so the length should be fine. If you um, see, uh, realize that maybe the start point is not correct, you can turn on uh, the region length lock 
which will um, lock the length of the audio region and then when you move it it will it will keep the loop length but only change start and stop positions accordingly um, so let's uh, see no that's not fine um, you can see there is a clap and that did not align correctly so let's see here's the clap yeah now it's on the grid okay so this loop is also fine let's call it breakdown or only break give a color and now what we want to check Oh, by the way, if you double tap outside of a loop, you will get the whole overview. Um, if you double tap a loop, you will zoom into the loop. And um, you can, of course, do that uh, manually if you like. Um, so what I would like to check now is if a transition between the first loop and the second loop would work fine. So I play back the first loop, select the second, it will start blinking. That means it is triggered to play next. Yeah, selection works wonderful. Let's check the first. Yeah, that's working fine. So how can you work with this now in the um, normal playback? Because this is meant to, to help you uh, make your performance more interesting by rearranging your songs on the fly. Um, so we can basically interact with the waveform view. If we tap on something, it will be selected. Another tap will turn on the loop. Another tap will turn it off. And a fourth tap will deselect it. Um, there is also the possibility to assign um, uh, two new actions to either pedals or uh, assignable buttons. I have done it here with the assignable buttons. The left button is the select button. It will cycle through all audio regions I have. And um, this next one is the loop button. It will turn on and off the loop of the currently playing or selected region. So I can, um, let's, let's start from the beginning, for example. Um, I will start the song and I will want to loop the intro part. I just press the loop button and it will loop continuously as long as I want. Now I want to go to the breakdown part. I select the breakdown part and it will jump over there. Okay, let's loop the breakdown a little bit. Fine, now I want to go back to the first part again. Perfect. A sim single repeat is just by selecting it again, then it will be played next without activating the loop. Okay. And now it will continue with the song. So um, if I have parts that I want to always loop when the song is played, I can do it in the edit audio regions area. Let's say in the breakdown, I want always want to play it longer. I select loop here. This will enable a permanent, let's say a permanent loop. Um, this means every time you load the song, the loop will be pre-selected. And it will loop in this place as long as you disable the loop. And disabling the loop is either with the button or pedal or just a single press on the region. It will disable the loop and it will continue playing. Wonderful. So this is a really uh, very powerful tool for to, to really uh, take your performances to the next level. You're basically free to rearrange the songs as you like. You're not limited to stereo files. This does also work equally well on multi-track files and um, it can uh, make uh, things very interesting not only for the audience but for you because you don't have to play the songs like you use, you're used to every time. 
So I hope you like this and um, please give me feedback um, if there is something I can enhance or uh, uh, if you like it or don't like it. I'm always happy about feedback and um, I hope I will release the next update in about a week. Bye-bye.